Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this bralette made of crochet squares and triangle. This will be a three-part video and this first one will be the tutorial for the square pattern. Okay, here I'm showing you the finished square and triangle. You'll be needing three triangle and two square. For this project, we will use 3 mm hook and for the yarn this is a span polyester yarn with eight strands and here is the closer look of the square pattern before we begin i will show you how to make a magic circle take two fingers wrap your yarn around it make a cross in the palm side and then hold your working yarn insert your hook in between pull up a loop yarn over on your working yarn and then pull through the loop and then tighten but for this project we'll be making a smaller magic circle so the tail will not be that long to know that you made a good magic circle when you untie it or pull the tail it will not be tied or you will not make a knot like this now let me show you the smaller magic circle just wrap it around one finger make it loose a little to insert your hook just the same way pull up a loop and then yarn over and then pull through the loop that you made then tighten to start with the first row we need to chain two and then make double crochet inside the magic circle we will put 16 double crochet on this circle that's the first one the second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight You can now pull the tail to make the circle tighter and the tail longer so we'll, you will not lose it along the way. This is the ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. 14 15 and the last one 16 again pull the tail to close the circle in the middle to close the first row you see this is the chain 2 and this is the first double crochet you will make a slip stitch on top of that and there we are finished with the first row for the second row we will start again with chain 2 in this row we will do 3 double crochet cluster on each stitch but for this first one we will count this chain two as the first 
double crochet so technically it will be at just two double crochet cluster so here I yarned over and insert the hook on the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two you have two loops on your hook for the second one yarn over insert your hook on the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two so now you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two so that is the first cluster the next one will be a complete three double crochet cluster don't forget to chain one before starting so to make the three double crochet cluster yarn over insert your hook on the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two again yarn over insert your hook on the same stitch pull up a loop stretch it so it will be aligned yarn over pull through two you now have three loops on your hook again for the last one yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop pull and yarn over pull through two so four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all four loops repeat that around until you have 16 clusters Finishing our last cluster, chain one and then to close, slip stitch on the top of the first cluster. After the second row, you can check if you can lay your circle flat on a surface. And if it is, you can continue. But if you notice that your project is a little wavy or too wavy, even when laid on a flat surface you can consider to choose a smaller hook for your project for the third row we will make four double crochet cluster on each chain one space but to start you will make 
uh, slip stitch on the first chain one space and then chain two same as the previous row we will count these two chains as the first double crochet so for this first one technically this is just a three double crochet cluster this is the second and the third so you will have four loops on your hook yarn over and then pull through that will be the first cluster after this one chain two and that will serve as your first corner for the next cluster this will be a four double crochet cluster so same as the three double crochet cluster the only difference is you should have five loops on your hook before you yarn over and pull through all the loops like this one and then chain one repeat that for double crochet cluster chain one three times so we only need two more on this next two chain one spaces that is four double crochet cluster chain one because the next cluster with that will be followed by a chain 2 which will serve as the next corner Now we have three for double crochet and chain one. We will work with the fourth one for double crochet cluster. And then chain two. And that completes the one side so this is the first corner the second corner next thing is to do that twice as you see in the written pattern two brackets with three dots meaning you will just repeat the pattern inside the bracket and when you finish the two bracketed uh, pattern you will follow that with the parentheses pattern which is the four double crochet cluster chain one this is what it looks like to complete the two sides you can now post this video and finish the bracket and parenthesis pattern and i'll make you back again so here is the parenthesis pattern which is for double crochet cluster and then chain one that completes the last side and this first cluster will be the fourth of this side to close make a slip stitch on the top of the first cluster now our pattern is looking a little like square now we are now on the fourth row to start slip stitch on the chain two space and then chain three and that will serve as our first triple crochet or treble crochet to do the treble crochet or the second one yarn over twice 
insert your hook on that stitch or seam space tighten your working yarn so it will be close together the loops on your hook yarn over pull through two hold that yarn over pull through two hold again and yarn over pull through the last two so now you have two on that corner again make a triple crochet make sure it's tight yarn over pull through two hold yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through two in that three stitches or triple crochet belongs to this side for the corner chain one and then make again three triple crochet on that same space again this chain two space of previous row is the corner of our square go ahead complete that three triple crochet For the next space, we will do 3 double crochet. I'm sure you know how to do the double crochet already. And for the third space, the middle one, we will make a 3 half double crochet. Next, for the fourth space, we will repeat the three double crochet. And now we reach the second corner. We will just do the three treble crochet. And there, we complete the first side, which is the written pattern inside the parentheses. Just repeat that two more times and follow the rest of the pattern. Here, we are finished with the two sides. You can now post this video and meet me back again when you reach the end of this row. And yes, to close this row, our fourth row, slip stitch on top of that first triple crochet. For the next row, as you can see in this sample, we will just do double crochet around for each stitch of the previous row. 
the only difference will be the corner stitches. So to start, chain 2. That will count as the first double crochet. And for the next one, we will make a back loop double crochet on the same stitch so just insert your hook on the back loop and do a double crochet that is our second double crochet the third one is the top of this one again back loop only and for this corner we will do a uh, two double crochet chain one and then two double crochet and then for the next one we will pull this corner stitches and expose the top of that first triple crochet of the previous row and then insert your hook on the back loop and complete your double crochet for that first stitch continue on this side so the total of stitches you will make per side will be 19 including the two on each corner. You can post the video now and come back when you reach the other corner. So here we will do the two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet as the start of the other side. So this will be 19 from here. And then this is just a chain one for the corner in the start of chain 2 for the other side don't forget to pull these corner stitches to expose the top of that first stitch of the previous row the first triple crochet of the previous row Okay, you can continue doing the other three sides. You can now post this video and meet me back again when you finish the row. To close this fifth row, slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. So this is what it looks like now. For the next row, the sixth row, we will make this double crochet with spaces, chain one spaces. Here you can see two stitches together, but that is counted as one. That is the chain two and the first double crochet. So the chain 2 here is not included in our count. So that is the first double crochet, chain 1, 
skip one stitch and then make double crochet on the next stitch. And then chain one, skip one stitch. So we reach the corner. So there in the corner, we will do the corner stitches, which is two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. After that, chain 1 for the space, skip 1 which is the top of this first stitch. Remember when we uh, pull the corners to the side and then do the double crochet on that second stitch. Continue this around. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch, and then double crochet. Here you must have a 9 double crochet per side, not including the corners. Again here in the corner, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. And then go on, do the rest of the three sides. So let's count from this first double crochet after the corner. We want to do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, that does not include the two on each corner. Now let's fast forward this because this is a repeated pattern on each side.
This is the last double crochet. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is the 8th and the 9th. So we still have 9 double crochet post on this side. To close, slip stitch on top of that first double crochet. So we are now finished on our sixth row. For row seven, we will put a double crochet on each stitch of the previous row, including the chain one spaces. For this row, the chain two will not be included in the count of the stitches for each side okay this is the chain two we make the first double crochet on that same stitch the second one will be here on the chain one space of the previous row third one will be at the top of the double crochet of the previous row and then here on the chain one space again and on top of these two double crochet of the corner for the chain one space in the corner we will do the same as the previous rows which is two double crochet chain one and then two double crochet like what we did on row five we will include the top of the stitch Pull that corner stitches and then insert your hook on the top of that first stitch after the corner. And there is no chain one here on the previous row. Continue adding double crochet on the next stitch. And we will have the chain one space here on the next one alternate again on putting double crochet on top of double crochet of previous row and then chain one of the previous row You can now post this video and meet me back again when you're done with the rest of the sides. The last chain one space. Slip stitch again on the top of the first double crochet. And we are almost done guys. Only one row left. 
to start the last row, chain 1. This row will be a row of half double crochet. Basically, we'll, we will put half double crochet in each stitch along the side. And here at the corner, we will put two half double crochet, chain one, and then two half double crochet. After the corner stitches, we will not move the stitches to expose the top of that stitch from the bottom row like we did on the other rows. But we will immediately put the half double crochet on that second stitch of the previous row. Continue on putting half double crochet on each stitches. And for this last row, the total of the stitch per side will be 30, including the two half double crochet on each corners. Post this video and meet me in the end stitch. Here at the last stitch, half double crochet. Again, we will close this round with a slip stitch. to tie a uh, chain one make a chain one and then cut that excess yarn pull it through and then tighten and as you can see here in the finished square I just weave it in along the side of the back stitches to hide it. That's it guys for this first video of the square. Next pattern will be this triangle. And note that we have to have the 
same number of stitches per side. Okay, please like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep you updated on the next video tutorial. Thank you for watching guys. See you on our next video. Bye guys!